Hey there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another Bug Snats Achievement and Trophy Guide and this time we're going to be doing mailbox missions to grab the achievement Live Laugh Hut. Now I should point out, this isn't organised into categories or anything, this is just specifically for getting the achievement and that's it. Uh, there's a few notes to add too, we need to basically do 50 of these in order to get the second story built, then we can finish the rest. The next thing I would highly recommend is completing all the quests, except Major Celebration at the very end, all main quests, and all side quests, because that actually completes 27 of these, so we only need to do 23 short side-side mail missions in order to complete. So, as you can see there, with the first one, you should have this side quest here, and that is for getting two hoops in one. Now, what you need to do is go at the back here, next to Snoopy and Chandler's house, grab the one ball, press the X button when you go underneath it, throw it in again, and that should complete that male quest. Now, uh, I don't think this is random either, so every time you complete one male mission, the next mission should be the same for you as it is for me. If it's not, please let me know, uh, you know, just let me know if that's not the case, but hopefully, after you've done the main and side quest, you should be able to follow this guide lovely. So, as you can see, so what I always do, whenever I complete one male objective, I come back, there will always be one letter, uh, just interact with that, grab the next one, and we can go again. So... Again, hopefully, and again, you should have the fast travel option as well, so if you've gotten as far as completing the main quest and the side quests, you should have the fast travel ability, which make things make, does make life a lot easier. So, we're going to scan a shy weenie worm. So, we're going to go to Scorched Gorge, head to the left down the river, and there's going to be a left, if you can remember, just down this hole right here. So, nip down here, get the ketchup out, stick it on the shy weenie worm, press in the right trigger, uh, the right stick and then press the right trigger there to take the picture and that will complete that mailbox mission so now what we can do is just head back and again pick up the next mail for the next one and what we're going to do is we're going to find a lost item for Befica. so this time we're going to go to garden grove and again a lot of this will be edited out um just it saves a little bit of time there in the video, right, just getting straight to the point. So, uh, the Befica's lost item. Jump up onto the rocks on the right, go onto the trees. Uh, sorry, the uh, <laughs> talking's a bit fast and everything there, but uh, put the lunch pad down, jump on it, aim yourself and launch yourself over. Boom! And there's Befica's lost bag. So, as soon as we do this, we go back. Um, and then, obviously, every time you do one... You get given an item to, uh, you know, you get given an item to be put in your house. And obviously you get the next male objective as well. So you'll, you'll get an item. And then this time we're going to scan a honeybee with, <laughs> so what we're going to do, we're going to head to Sugar Pine Woods because we're going to scan a honeybee. And again, I do apologize if it is a bit quick there um, with the explanation and everything. But hopefully, like I said, with you, where we are at, at the same point of the video, depending if you've done the main and side quest, there's the honeybees, by the way, you should be on the same as me. So that is what I'm hoping. Again, if not, let me know where and I'll see what I can do. So, the honeybees <laughs> have actually gone away. So they, we need to be out uh, sort of midday. So if that's the case, we're just going to go for a little sleep, sleepy sleep till noon. And now what we do, head from here, go to the right. We need to grab a basketball. So jump down here. We're going to where Chandler was. So jump it down. Uh, no, we don't, need to, <laughs> we don't need to go back up. There should be a basketball there all the time. So now we can just head back up here. Skablamo! Right. Again, sometimes you have to be quick. I've done this in, the, in an order as well that I think is the easiest. These are the easiest ones to do. You might think others are easier, which is fine. Again, let me know if you thought some were easier or some not. But make sure you've thrown one. As soon as the basketball hits one of these honeybees, it will actually stun the honeybee and it will fall down. And that is when you can take the picture. Um, but you just have to time it just ever so slightly. Perfect, right there. So, as you can see, you get 10 seconds to take the picture. Just take the picture, damn it. All right, there we go. So, when that one is done, that's that mail request complete. Now we can go back, and we're going to do the donating the mystery bug snacks to Gramble's Barn. Now, there's a couple, a specific one of these. So, with this one, it looks like it's a flying heart. So, obviously, you have to read the descriptions carefully. Um, if not, if you have a search on Google, there's this big list of um, 
uh, what what people have done and if there's specific you know specific the specific order category and there's ones on YouTube as well but this first one we're going to grab is the lovely sweetie fly but again hopefully because it shouldn't be in a random order it should always be the lovely sweetie fly one that will come up first so when we get here into simmering sands anyway put your trip shot down and just put it the other side of the rock wait for I think you you should be able to put it down now and he'll just fly into it. But for some reason I decided to not do that, which... Eh, sounds about right for me, doesn't it? Anyway, pop your trip shot down. Pop it back to the opposite side of the rock. The lovely Sweetie Fly is going to be... He's oh, going to be a little tired, isn't he, babes? He's going to be a little tired. <laughs> so, there we go. Stun him. Grab him. Lovely Sweetie Fly. Beautiful. So now we actually have to go back... And donate him to Gramble's farm in order to finish the quest. Now we have to catch five snack pods in under 30 seconds. This is the next one. Again, should be in roughly the same order for you. So we need to catch five snack pods in 30 seconds. Should be easy enough. We're going to go to Garden Grove for this one then. And now what we need to do is we're going to head to the right and go into Befflicker's Cave. Get your snack grapple out, of course. Grab this one off the wall on the right, then immediately go out, turn to the right, and hug this right-hand wall, go down. The next one's on the tree. From here, go straight ahead of us, pass Bunga Bunga Bunga, into the caves with the Friders, turn around, and it is just on top of this cave. Go to the right-hand side, climbing up these steps, and then high on the right-hand side, off the cliff's edge is the fourth one. Keep going straight. When we get here... Turn to the left, and the next one will be right there on the cliff edge. So again, that would be the five snack pods in under 30 seconds. If you don't get it, sleep till noon, try again. Right, now we need to find a lost item for Filmo. This would have been one of the next ones that came up. And again, it's very easy. It's in snacks bugs, or whatever the hell we are, the main bit. So go into Elizabeth and Egabelle's room. Climb all the way up. Take a little step back so you can get a good run up. Run over to the tree. Run over to this rock. And then just take a little jump over it. If you're a bit worried, you can use the lunch pad as well. But it's probably easy to just run. This is the uh, lost item for Philbo. So, now we can just go back to the mailbox. Grab the next item. And now we need to catch five different bug snacks in under 60 seconds. Now, the, the wording on that is important. You have to catch five different bug snacks. So, you, don't, you can't just catch five of the same ones. It's got to be all different. So, back to Garden Grove it is. And what we're going to do, we're going to climb, we're going to go down. Don't run off too closely though. Put the lunch pad here, put the snack trap on it, and then put it on this shishka bug. Grab him first, and then grab that one. Next, put your trip shot up, put it on this tree on the right hand side, and then put it over the post, which is sort of, you know, cutting across ever so slightly. Put out your snack trap and grab this Dr. Sodi as well. So that's the second one. The third one will be the Bunga then. If you miss the Sodi, don't worry, just try again. Um, now, just run up here once you've got those three. What we need to be doing is grabbing the white Strabby, who is going to be just on the right-hand side in this area. So, put your snack trap down, walk away, wait until he comes out, and then you'll get the notification there to press the right trigger. So, skablam that boy! Use the snack wrapper if you want for a quick and easier thing, and then turn straight around, do the same thing, snack trap, and then if you want to get this weenie worm going a bit quicker, just run after him and he'll go a bit quicker. As soon as he's done that, skablam him, snack grapple out, boy. And that should be the five different bug snacks in under 60 seconds one done. Right, back to Snacksburg, have a look at the next one. Now we just need to complete the interview with Egg Bell. Now I'm not sure if you can do this one before getting the... Uh, before getting this mail mission, or if you interview her before... That means that this one is then complete. Um, but but anyway. Um, I obviously didn't do it before. So I get the mail story. I think if you end up interviewing Eggabelle. You will probably get that as a completed mail mission. So there we go. So from Frosted Peak. Go all the way to the left here. And then all you have to do is just interview Eggabelle. And then we can finally take a little bit of a breather. Fantastic. <laughs> Getting too fat and too old for this talking over video stuff. Still. Now, like I said, remember, as long as you've done all the main quests and side quests, you would have had 27 completed mail quests, mailbox quests done, so you only have to do 23. Remember that one. So luckily, we don't have to do all 50, but 23 is... <laughs> it's a bit of a chore as well, in all honesty. 
Um, as fun as it is, just going back and forth, catching different crap, gets a bit tedious after a while. But anyway, enjoy your interview with Edgar Bell. And again, as soon as we've done this and the um, side quest or whatever it is is complete, go back to Snacksburg, get the item from Edgar Bell, whatever she's given you, and then get the next mail slot. Stay safe out there. And then when we go back then, the next one we can do is get knocked out of bounds by a bug snacks. And that requires us going all the way back to Frosted Peak. And we're going to get a bit of Scoopy Benoopy in our lives. He's going to freeze us, but he's going to knock us the crap out of bounds, which is exactly what we want, of course. So, now, of course, obviously, with all the edits, it's going to obviously take you a lot longer than, you know, a bit longer than 35 minutes to do all the 23 remaining mail missions. Obviously, just to let you know. But when we get here, then, turn to the right, and he basically goes in one big scoopy banoopy loopy. So if he's not there, he's going to come down this little piece of mountain hill. So just get him on the edge, wait until he follows you. Bam! I want to break free from this ice mountain. And there we go, that is that request complete. Next, what we can do is now catch 10 bug snacks in under 90 seconds. Now, this time it doesn't have to be different ones. It can just be 10 bug snacks. And guess where we're going for that? Oh, well, we're going to go back to Garden Grove now, man. So, head back to the ever-legendary place. Right, so remember, 10 bug snacks in 90 seconds. So, the first one we're going to do... We're going to turn immediately right, we're going to grab the crispy snack pod from Befica's cave, go out to the right, hug the wall, jump down, grab the second um, bug snacks, another snack pod. Use your trip shot, use it on this tree on the left, and then put it on the tree to the right, and that is uh, Bunga Bunga, who's going to eventually get through there, so that'll be number three. Right, next, use your lunch pad, get your, not trip shot, <laughs> no, 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 not trip shot. Use the snack pod, snack trap. Oh, god damn it. I'm rushing now, that's what it is. Use it on the shishka bug, and that'll be your fourth one, just about. Next, use the snack trap again. Oh, in fact, use the snap grapple first to grab the next crispy snack pod. Use the snack trap, and hopefully you can get both at the same time. If you don't manage to get both Friders at the same time, I managed to do that time, which is good. But if not, just do the exact same method and grab the other Frider as well. Uh, so that would be two, and again, if you didn't have the achievement by now, you will, you can obviously get it right there, the double trapper achievement. Right from here, grab the lunch pad, just go stay over this side of the river, so the shishka boat doesn't run away. Put the lunch pad down, snack trap, get him over to the shishk, bam, that's another one. <clears throat> Remember, the, there's a sodi can floating down the river as well, so get your trip shot. Put it over from the right, put it over to the post on the left. Get a snack trap as well, and make sure to, you are catching your Dr. Sodi. So, we just wait for a few seconds. Come in. Right, grab Bunga. God damn it, that's annoying. And then make sure to activate your snack trap, of course. And then we can grab Mr. Sodi. Now, that should be the 10 bug snacks. Again, if you need more, jump up these steps. There is a snack pod on the right and a cup and a stra white strabby up there as well. Right, next we're going to donate another, uh, the second of the mystery uh, bug snacks, which requires us going to Scorched Gorge. Again, it should be, as I've said earlier in the video, it should be in the same order. So it shouldn't just pop up with random ones. You should be all in the same order. So for this one, head to the left and we're going to head up this ramp. Ramperoni, mother flipponi, and head just head over here to this sort of main area. Go to the right over this little verge, grab a trip shot, your trip shot, put it over to the right, put it on this sort of post windmill thing on the left, eventually. Come in. There it is, okay, there it is. And make sure to grab some ketchup. The, oh, the old bunga boy likes that one. So it's the barbecue bunga which we're going for this time. Well, just make sure to keep getting the ketchup, and eventually he will smash himself up. Barbecue Bunga job done. Right from here then, again apologies, I got a bit um, edit happy earlier. 
Um, but every time you catch one of these, you actually have to donate it to Gramble's farm. Uh, the, the mail doesn't actually end until you do that. So, again, apologies. Now, the video was quite a bit quick earlier on. <laughs> My bad. But hopefully you were able to catch up and all good. Otherwise, we can just chill on our way back to Snackenbergen Haugen Schnauzen. You know what I mean? Yeah, me neither. Right, there goes Marge Simpson, just ahead of us, with a gummy bear on her head for some reason. And then just head to... Of course, we're not going to get any mailbox, uh, any new mail just yet, because we have to actually donate our little boy. Or little girl, whatever it is. But Barbecue Bungo is done. Now we can go and grab the next mail one. So we can grab the item. And next, we have to... We, we no, What we're going to do now is scan a crapple carrying another crapple. <laughs> crapple is a funny name for anything. Also, shishka poop. And also, poopy pants. That's a hilarious name for something. But anyway, we're going to Shimmering Sands. Or Simmering Springs, sorry. Completely got that one wrong. Anyway, Simmering Springs. Basically the third area, I think, of the game where we came to. And what we're going to do then, we're going to head down. We've got to, we've got to do a bit of luring right now. So get your sauce out. Make sure you've got enough chocolate. Again, there's plenty of chocolate flowers about here if you need it. And you can see the crapple, which is a crab. And an apple, which is quite, which is why it's called a crapple. Again, you can do it either with the buggy ball and just guide him along, or you can just keep him, keep him going with the bits of chocolate as well. Probably easier to do it with the buggy ball. But anyway, get the crap apple. Hey, get, 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 give me my balls back, boy. Okay, right. So if he does that, he ends up just hiding, which is fine. Just make sure to <laughs> try and make sure to, you know. Get him nice nice and quick away. But obviously enough that he's still following us. Because I think if we turn around right now... He's not going to be there. But anyway, shoot that other crapple. Oh, there he is, yeah. Shoot that other crapple with chocolate. If he hasn't got chocolate on him, make sure to do that. Bam, he should now be covered in chocolate. So if that other crapple starts walking away... Uh, just go and grab him back. Should be fine, though. What might be easier, actually, is just now um, walking away. And then eventually, as soon as that happens, then take a picture with the crapple, carrying another crapple. And that is that request complete. Right, back here, we're going to scan a flaming barbecue bunga. Which we have to go back to the Scorched Gorge in order to do that. And again, we're doing a little bit of sauce trickery to piss him off and confuse the crap balls out of him. So... How are you? Good? Oh, fantastic. <laughs> That's great to know. So, here we are. And again we go again. Scorched Gorge. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, so, as we just head to the left up here again, we're going back to the barbecue bunker. By the way, if you want to, every time you go back to the mail place, you can um, put an item down in the house as well if you want. Or you can just wait until later on. Completely up to you. Um, but basically, as soon as we do the 50, that should be all golden nuggets. Right. So, we can put the hot sauce on the barbecue bunga, get the ranch dressing, or the ketchup. I think it's probably the ketchup that actually uh, makes it easier. But we need the barbecue bunga to come over exactly where we are with the scorpion. Or scorpion, or whatever his bloody name is. But you have to put the hot sauce on the barbecue bunga. That's going to piss off this flaming scorpion. As soon as he's on fire, make sure to take a picture. And that is that request complete. Next, when we go back, we're going to find a lost item now for Wambus. Right, so now we got to go back to Flavor Falls, because Wambus needs a Krambus in his Bambus. So that's exactly what we're going to do us. Back, back, back to Flavor Falls. Yeah. Right, here we are then, Flavor Falls. So, when we go, uh, when we're here, we're going to go basically into the main area, ignore the Sando P, the sub sandwich. Um, and if we go basically straight in front of us, just up this rocky hill right here, all we have to do is get as close as we can um, to the exit. Well, here we can get a fruity snack pod as well, if you so wish. Or a twisty snack pod, sorry. Which is basically a pretzel. It is a pretzel. Uh, so after you grab him, put the lunch pad, but you've got to put it kind of right, right at the edge of where we are right now. Launch yourself up, and that is where Wambus's stuff is. Oh man, it's dirty. God, it stinks. What the hell is that? Anyway, now we can go back. And now we need to scan a sandalpede hanging from a lolive. So once again, 
we're going to need to fast travel to Flavor Falls. And we're going to go back, so, uh, to the main area, so get over the centipede. Now, the green lolive will always be here, flying above us, right here. So, we need to get a trip shot going. We need to cover the centipede in cheese, so make sure to get your cheese ready. And then, as soon as it starts, as it, there's the green lolive, so we'll just be flying around there. <clears throat> um, now, it may take one or two attempts. Uh, a little bit of an edit there, sorry. Um, so, as soon as he's all full, put... Put everyone with cheese, put every centipede with cheese, and a lolive should grab one. So as soon as we do that, quickly as you can, take a picture of that green lolive uh, and the centipede there. Next, we're going for another Donate the Mystery Bug Snacks. This one, it, it loves the cold, but isn't frosty, nor evasive neither. So we are now going to go back to Frosted Pooks. Uh, Frosted Peaks. And what we're going to be doing is getting a bit of Scoopy Benoopy. Or, I think, yes, I think it is the cheery. I think it is the cheery, this one. So, just head to the right. We're going to need to find the Scoopy Benoopy once again. There she blows. Now, again, you can either do the trip shot on fire method, where he goes into the, um, uh, into the trip shot, or you can just rub him up against this campfire, and he's going to start bursting in around 20 seconds. So... That will... It's probably the easiest way to do that, to be honest. Much, much easier. Rather than getting your trip shot, making sure that he tries to go through it. Literally, just get him to follow you onto the campfire. This is called the Campfire Song Song. C-A-M-B-F-I-R-E-S-O-N-G Song. Oh, Scooby Poop. Right, so he's just pooped himself. Now we need to be following the Cheery. So, just follow him until he goes to whichever particular bush that he prefers. Whether he likes a big, massive bush from the 80s, or not so big a bush like now's. It'll always be the 80s bush. Uh, apparently, I got him in the <laughs> I got him in the wrong bit for some reason. Oh, god damn, this stupid Scooby thing. Anyway, <laughs> almost got lucky with that one. Uh, but he actually went back into the bush again, so it can be a bit of a pain in the ass. I'm just waiting for the Scoopy boy to knob off. Oh, there we go. Cheery run out. There we go. So we've managed to grab Cheery. Whatever way you do it, it's a Cheery that we're after. So now we can go back to Snokesburg. <laughs> Scooby want a Scooby Snokes? <laughs> Scooby Lokes, Snooky Scooby Snokes. That's a very obscure YouTube video. Very, very funny stuff. Um... Not that you probably have a clue what I'm going on about there. Scooby Snooks. Anyway, once we are back to Snacksburg, again, go to Gramble's Ranch, donate the Cheery Boy, and complete that mission. Or complete that mailbox mission, whatever it is. So, now we can go back to the mailbox. Now we just need to stay on fire continuously for over 30 seconds. This one is very easy again. Like I said, I'm only going through the ones that I think are the easiest ones that we can do as quick as we can. So, we are going to a Boiling Bay this time. It's Boiling, it's Bay. That's why they ended up calling it Boiling Bay, funnily enough. So, as we start, we're just going to go to the first lava pit, right in front of us, and then we're just going to run up and down it for 30 seconds. That's all we're going to do. So, don't worry about burning to death. Apparently, that doesn't work in the world of Bow Snokes. So, just keep running up and down this lava pit until the mailbox requirement is complete. And then after the request is complete, go and get your butt straight in that water for a nice cool down. That was some hot stuff. Anyway, what we need to do now, go back and we can know what's called purging a green crapple, i.e. catching a green a crapple. That's just um, hippie yoga talk for uh, catching. Oh, purge one soul out of this green crapple. Whatever. Anyway, all we got to do is catch a green crapple. So we're going back to Boiling Bay. Again, this should be... 
uh, at least one of your mailbox requests. You can crack on and do some of other, the other ones if you want. Like I said earlier, I'm just finding these the easiest ones to do. So, the green crap crap, the green crababble, I've been calling her Crandall, is in the water right at the beginning of Boiling Bay. There it is. And it basically just goes in this one big giant circle. So, we can just whack a snack trap down quite close to him. And we wait. And we wait. And we wait for my first customer. He does try to avoid it, but, uh, you know, you can get him down just enough. Absolutely lovely to grab that one. Again, just like the Gramble ones, we have to, we have to actually go back to Snacksburg. Put him in Yoga's... Not Yoga's. Yoda's. Shelda's. Whatever it is. Box. For in order to complete this one. Hello. Oh, hi. Hello, darling. And when that one is done, we can turn around, go back to our mailbox, get a delicious other present, or two. And we're going to go for another donation one now. So, it jumps from tree to tree. Okay. Alright, alright. Let's just take a little look then, see? I get startled by a bug snack that jumps from tree to tree, but it's so fast, I don't even know what it is. Even so, I'd love to have one in my barn, please. You lazy di- Go do it your bloody self. But apparently, that's not allowed in the world of... Uh, bug snacks, we've got to do everything for them, even though we're just a journalist. But, you know, if we're a journalist for the sun, we can go and jump off a cliff. But, uh, anyway, <laughs> right, so the, the mystery one that he wants is in Garden Groves here. And it is the, um, this happy little fellow jumping in the trees. Now, just to the right of those trees is a big rock. And you'll be able to see when I go out now. Again, apologies about the so, uh, slightly poor edit right there. But as you can see, he is jumping, it's basically right in the middle of the garden grove. So what you can do is put uh, the trip shot on the big rock on the right hand, on the left of us. And then right in the tree, right at the very top is where he goes. Carrot looking dude. So there it is then. So there's the tree just down the river that the sodi's floating down on the bottom left corner there. Put your trip shot on there. Put it up to the tree high and in, high into the sky on the right and eventually... This um, lubus looking thing, cob hopper. It's uh, right, it's a cob. It's a sweet corn. Alright, anyway, whatever. Uh, we grab him, now we can go back to old uh, Snacksville, or Snacksburg. I don't know why Snacksville would have been a better name, but anyway. Uh, who am I, huh? I'm a no one. <laughs> so sad. Right, anyway, back into Snacksburg territory. We're not too far from doing the end of these now, actually. Thankfully, because honestly, doing it seemed like a bit, it was a bit of a chore. Even though they're very easy, it, <laughs> some of them can be a bit of a chore. Back and forth, back and forth. Anyway, get the cob hopper in there. And anyone else that you've got, of course. And when we've done that, now we can go back to our mail slot. Get a little cheeky present from Glimbo. Flimbo, whatever his name is. Okay, no problem. Now what we have to do is purge a raspberry. Now again, that is hippie yoga talk for catch a raspberry. And that's what we're going to do. And we find them once again in Simmering Spring. So, get your big nugget down there. Simmering Springs. Again, another very easy one to catch. As soon as it loads up anyway. Oh, here we go. So, back in Simmering Springs again. But you're sick to the back teeth of this now. Right, head down to the left. This is where we're going to find that um, <laughs> that one, by the way. That um, bug snacks. If you scare him, he hides in a bush forever because he's a proper pansy. So just be aware of that one. But anyway, there's the rasby. So just like the white strabbies um, from the farms from Flavor Falls. Put a snack trap down. Wait until he goes back to his coveted position. Slam him down. And job done. So grab him. Go back to Snacksburg. Put it in Shelter's box. <laughs> and then that's that one complete. Ah, <sighs> another fine day. And 
for the next one, we're going to be helping out Wiggle, the worst singer in the world. Um, no, I'm joking. But anyway, she's lost another sack of stuff, so we need to go back to Simmering Springs. Hope you enjoy the beach, because I do. I love going for a long walk romantic on the beaches. Or whatever the hell I just said. Try and put the, whatever I just said into an English sentence, please. Right, so from here, what we can do then is go all the way back to the left. Ah, damn it, almost had him that time. Um, <laughs> all the way back down. And you can just see the bag in the distance. Go past Crabapple, Crandall right here. Onto this little bit of rock formation. We need to put the lunch pad, uh, lunch pad down. Uh, excuse me. If you could stop trying to hit me from the side. I'm trying to jump up right now. There we go. Uh, sadly, we can't jump all the way up. So you're going to need your lunch pad back. Uh, so basically, just jump all the way up to the top. Gr grab wiggle stuff. And then make your way back to Snacksburg. Back to your mailbox. And this time we're going to catch yet another mystery bug snack. Something that flies around in the desert but isn't sweet, meaty, or any kind of cheap beef. Okay, right, so he's on fire, more or less. So what we're going to do then, we're going to head to um, the Sizzling Sands. In fact, no, he's not on fire. He's just a black olive. Sorry, got, got my ones mixed up there. It is a black olive that we need to catch, though. So when we arrive here at the Sizzling Sands... Uh, there's a couple that are flying about, but we're going to go to one specific section, basically where sh where we found Shelda earlier on in the story. Um, because there is one there, but what we need... I mean, th these black olives just fly around. But what we need is to go to Shelda's little tent, because he's got the perfect angle, pretty much, to put your trip shot down and we wait. So there it is then. So, well, you know what to do. Put the trip trip shot down on this rock. Send it over to uh, Shelda's old tent, and we wait, and we wait. Well, it's almost closing time. Better close up, and we wait. Come on, Nat. Come in. I don't got a day, black lot of douchebag. Okay, there we go. Catch him, and that is exactly what we're doing. So you know the drill now. Go back to Snacksburg, put him in Gramble's ranch, and get another one complete. Oh. And in fact, this will actually be the last one that we pretty much need to do. So doing all of these, and hopefully you've done the same ones that I've done, you should now have enough in your inventory in order to put everything down on the first floor. Now that we technically have done 50, um, as soon as you put them in anyway, there you will see Philbo Baggins with Chandlo. And that this is where he starts to build the second floor for your house. So if you're wondering how you do it, just do 50 of these requests. And as you can see... There they both are then. Beautiful. So, Chandler's put a second floor on our house. <clears throat> so, we don't need to do any more mailbox missions now. We do just have one more thing to do in order to get ourselves a roof. So, what you need to do is go around now your first and second floor. And basically, just um, put. you just need to put one item in every slot. That's all. So, wherever, wherever there is a... Press Y to go into toggle mode. Wherever there is a blue patch, like the one in front of us now, um, which will be, you'll need to put up like two desks, you'll have to put two ornaments on, two picture frames, I think, downstairs, a bed, a rug. Um, so yeah, and uh, I think it was three ornaments downstairs, actually. And now you also need to put one thing on the outside, which should be rock climbing walls. Now, as we go upstairs, let us put everything that we can down. So again, we just need to place one item in everything that is blue. Make sure, because I <laughs> pretty much I pretty much messed it, almost messed it up. But make sure after you put everything down, have a look at the ceiling because you need to put something up onto the ceiling as well, both upstairs and downstairs. So that that had me um, <laughs> that did trick me a bit there. But it's the same situation then. Just put everything that is blue, um, put something on it. And again, make sure to look at the ceiling, both upstairs and downstairs, and you need to put some hanging stuff on it as well. So, just be aware of that one, of course. Like I said, that did trip me out a little bit, because I was wondering what was going on. Um, so, when we've got one thing in place, in every single place, so you can probably just see there, as I looked in there, you've seen the blue spot on the ceiling. Um, <clears throat> now we need the roof. Now, the way to do that is, you don't actually have to do it, 
um, through a mailbox mission. Um, again, I'm not sure if the paint counts or not on the interior and exterior. Not sure if it does, but just in case, might as well, isn't it? So, what we actually need to do is... Sorry, one more thing. We need to get two things for outside. So, as you can see, I've got the bell there and the weight bench as well. Bench weight as well. So, um... So, yeah, what we need to do then, we need to basically find the cactus that Wamble was um, banging, or married to, sorry, earlier on in the story. And it comes absolutely randomly. So, what I would do, sleep till noon, have a look. I th I'm not sure if it appears specifically at the farm or if it appears um, somewhere else in Snacksburg. Just to make life easier for yourself, it's probably worth just keep sleeping till noon. For me, it I got it the second time. Uh, but it's probably worth just sleeping till noon, having a look if the Wamble Cactus and the Triffany Cactus is right next to the farm. If it's not, just keep sleeping till noon. If it is, then that is how we get the roof. Again, you do not get the roof from any of the mailbox missions. So as you can see there, second time lucky for me, the <laughs> Wamble Cactus, or the um, Triffany Cactus, sorry, is uh, there. So make sure to scan that one. And you can scan the Scare Snacks as well. Very, very funny. Anyway, with that one done, now we can go over back to our home. Again, and you can have a look in here as well. What you'll get is the roof. So you will get the roof. And now, so press Y to go into toggle mode. And there was that little bit there which you can put, uh, which you can toggle the roof. It's also um, where you can toggle different roofs is also on the left-hand side. So with the roof on, <clears throat> again... Make sure that you've got absolutely everything. Sorry, a bit of an edit, because I'm just showing you exactly where it is. So, the ceiling were the ones that caught me out. I thought it did glitch on me, uh, because there's been some people that have said, um, even though they've put everything down, they had to replace every item once in order for the achievement to unlock. So, if the achievement doesn't unlock, and you put everything down absolutely everywhere, including the ceiling and all these little ornament bits right here, Including a bag, two picture frames, and like I said, um, and obviously the ceiling, etc, etc. As long as you've done all that and the achievement still doesn't unlock, replace everything once and that should be as golden as nuggets. Um, again, this is a bit of an earlier edit skip there, but now we are back to square one. So th that is where you can place the other roof there if you wanted to. Uh, I say the other roof, um, there's two, two bits but there you can look at which tells you which part of the roof you can put on, if that made any sense at all. Um, now, for me, I got a bit confused because I didn't actually put anything on the ceiling at the top, which is why I was getting confused. Um, <coughs> but I will show you right now. In fact, I think I get about halfway through replacing everything. Again, I thought the, the achievement glitched on me, and as it turns out, it didn't because I was just being a bit mongish once more. So there's me replacing absolutely everything, even though I don't need to. So again, it's it's just a just-in-case thing, though. If it doesn't unlock, replace everything, you should be fine. I think I've said that about 12 million times by now. And now I go, what the hell? Oh my god, look at that. There it is. So as soon as you put your last decoration down, though, the achievement should unlock. And that should be live, laugh, and hut achievement and trophy done. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I do hope that this video helped and that you were able to carry on the same way that, um, basically follow along with what I did. If you did and it was helpful, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend as well. Big shout out to everyone on Patreon. I'll see you in the next Bug Snacks guide, guys and gals. Big love.